Hi everyone, it's Sunday. Guess what I do on Sundays? Tarot day! Okay, before I do today's spread, I want to go back to last week's spread, okay? One of the cards that I got out was the little lovey-dovey cards that I pull with the little love card. It said, love will protect the young, okay? And I also pulled out the Hierophant card, which some would call the Pope, out of my cards, which are these decks that I use, okay? So I want to talk about what happened since last week's spread. Because, you know, we all want those confirmations. You know, I get my messages from her, this lady that's with me. But at the end of the day, these cards, I like seeing the confirmation that comes out in the cards as well. So last week, I got the card, Love Will Protect the Young, on my little lovey-dovey cards. Look at what happened this week with Prince Andrew. Isn't this amazing that last week I got the card that Love Will Protect the Young, and now we've got this person, high-profile person on the that everybody on the world knows, and now... That action, even though in Mummy Pay This Bill, <laughs> oops, because that's now come out too. But at the end of the day, look at what this is stopping. It's stopping others who now are included in those circles or those rings, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, this is really a good time for humanity where we are now starting to wake up and we're seeing the truth. And we are starting to now see through the lies and we're using critical thinking where when I got the card that was the Hierophant last week, that card represented a person standing up and telling the truth. And even in last week's spread, I said this does not have to be just like one person like Jesus spreading the word or Buddha or Muhammad. This could be hundreds or thousands of people who now stand up. So I've done a little bit of research about what's happened this week and I just want to tell you some news. Okay, first thing, Prince Andrew. He had to pay £12 million. Wow, you know, in Australian dollars, that's about $24 million Australian dollars um, for an act that he claims he did not do to a person he claims he did not know. Oops. Wow. So people are waking up to this. Then we go off that topic of Prince Andrew and we look at now what's happened with Moderna. If you haven't been watching the news, um, I watch Forbes, which is all the like financial news. Forbes has now declared this week that the CEO, whose name is Stefan Banchel, I hope I got spelt that right. He has just resigned as the CEO of Moderna. Stock in Moderna has crashed $130 billion. Pfizer stock has gone down $28 billion, which they're calling a stock plunge. Okay. And the COVID antiviral pill that they were both coming out with, no one's interested in it. Mm, let's see why. <laughs> because people are now starting to wake up. You know, I've been looking at these rallies all around the world because they're everywhere, so I don't just want to pick out a couple of countries. These rallies or um, gatherings, as I call them, they're everywhere now. Europe South America's got them, Australia's got them, Middle East has got them, Canada, America's got them, if you know what I'm talking about there. And the one thing that is very important here is that they are trying to say these are anti-vaccine people. They're not. They are people who the majority of these people have actually had the thing in the arm and they're now realising that they've been had. So when we look at this card that I got last week, the Hierophant, which is that Pope starting to spread the truth, these are the people who have been compliant, 
they've said, okay, if I need to keep my job and I, then I understand that I've got to have this medical procedure, they're now realizing that they've been had. So what they're now doing is they're standing up, going against the authorities who are now saying, you must comply to this. So let's just have a look at some of the things around the world that I've just noticed in the last two days. In Belgium, there was a protest over there and there is footage emerging now where there's, oh gosh, hundreds of the Belgian police. They're in a barricade stopping the protesters and they actually all look at each other. They throw down their guns. They've all got their um, riot shields. They throw them into a big pile and then they join the protesters. So that is now occurring. In Australia, there are reports that 250 Australian federal police officers all threw in their badges when they saw how many people turned up at Canberra last week. They have decided that they don't want to be a part of what the government is now stipulating. And then we look at Canada. Canada, Trudeau, wherever he is now, because he's AWOL, right? He's run away. How fast? Retreat, retreat, run away, run away. We've got Trudeau saying, oh my God, we're going to now find the truckers. And if you put petrol in your trucks, we're going to find you. So all these people en masse, there's videos of hundreds of people walking into town with all their jerry cans some are full some are not but it's the representation where these people are standing up like that Hereford card that I got last week and they're saying I'm not listening to the authorities I'm going to help these people with their cause against this tyranny so it's happening all over the planet how amazing is it when I do a spread of tarot for the whole world and we've got Belgium, Australia, Canada, we've got Middle East, we've got South Africa, everywhere now is waking up to the fact that these pharmaceutical companies are now losing hundreds of billions of dollars in stock. Moderna shares have gone down 72%. What does that tell you straight away? People are over it. They're now seeing the truth after two years. Death rates have not gone up. You know, I look at the death tallies on Google and you can say, what is the yearly death rate of England? Right? So you look at the death rate of England and generally every year, there's about 10,000 people who die. 2020, it was still 10,000. 2021, it was still 10,000 people. So if this was true, those numbers would go up, right? Because more people would be dying, right? Huh, funny that they're not, correct? So today's spread, it's going to be amazing. Oh, I forgot to mention... Okay, um, I call him Gil Bates, okay? You know who I'm talking about. He was at, oh my gosh, I've got a photo here on my phone, so I'm going to read his quote. So he was at the Munich Security Conference 2022. It, it occurred last month in January. And this is what he said. Sadly, sadly is the first word. Sadly, the virus itself particularly the variant called Omicron, and yes, I do say that wrong, so algorithms don't pick me up. Omicron, I call it, is a type of vaccine. What? It is a type of vaccine. It creates both B and T cell immunity, which is what the uh, 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 thing does, right? And it's done a better job of getting out there to the world population than we have with vaccines. So he's just admitted there because on my YouTube page, um, page, 
Oh, sorry, not YouTube. I'm on Facebook. Linda Ray, R-A-E, L-Y-N-D-A, R-A-E is me on Facebook. I purposely have a public um, profile so people can go and check out all these links. But I've actually posted the link from this Munich Security Council conference where he's saying this. And what he virtually goes into saying is that this Omnicron is from the jab. People are waking up. People are waking up. We're all taking on that persona of that hierophant that I talked about last week. And I got that card, the little lovey-dovey card that said love will protect the young because you know what they're trying to do now with this um, medical procedure for 5 to 11-year-olds. Okay? Why are hospitals now having so many stroke centres created? Why are they now advertising heart attacks in children? These diseases don't occur. So why is it all now getting um, advertised? Why are there now AIDS kits being sold over the counter at local pharmacies? Do the math. If you want further information on that, go to my Facebook page, Linda Ray on info because I'm um, Linda Ray because I do share all the links there where this stuff is proven. It is not fabricated. It's not made up. Okay. So today's reading, I've already pulled cards for today. The first one that I got told to do was my own card. So here it is. Okay, so I've got that one first. Then they said, she said, do um, the beautiful Louise Benton's card. So here's her card if you do want to go and buy her cards because they are very, very accurate. So I've already got her card, which is this one. I think I've had this one before interesting how it's come up again because it's very accurate okay and then I've also got my little lovey-dovey card so the only other one that I've got to do is my ruin card stones are me and I'll just mute my phone so it doesn't keep doing what it's doing gosh I should have muted that before I started right okay so ruins I want a ruin stone for the next seven days that's pertinent to the whole world something we need to learn from, something that we can exhibit within ourselves or um, out there to other people that we associate with. Okay, What is a card that every single 8 billion people on the planet need at this point around the planet? These cards, are, um, these stones are already energised. So I just put my hand in, I put my hand sort of like that and I shuffle through. Oh, it's over here in this pack. I can feel the heat from it. Okay, it's you oh it just threw itself out at me oh now this is an interesting one i've never had this one before okay so whoops get my hair out of there all right so this is what the stone looks like so now let me just go find it in my book so i know which one i'm specifically talking about and it looks like let me just go back to what it looks like it's like two little squiggles uh, no that is it all right, so I've got this one. Okay, so I've got my stone. All right, so let's start from the very beginning here. The first card that I got told to pull today was from my deck. The card that I have today is the Four of Wands. So I'll put him up there so you can see what the Four of Wands looks like in my deck. So let me go over to my deck, my, my book. Oh, this is interesting, because now that I know what that ruin is. The Four of Wands. We now see stability as a result of the hard work that has gone before. Not only feeling satisfied with what you have so far accomplished, but also a sense of harmony, which now means you can afford to reward yourself with some time off. Holidays are indicated. A time of rest and relaxation with your family and those you love. A welcome pause to recharge your batteries. The Four of Wands brings a feel-good factor into play. A sense of con contentment with oneself and life. Wow. So this represents hard work being accomplished it's being recognized for what we've put in you know all these rallies around the world look at the advertising 
and the shares and the re reshares and how viral some of these protests are going. People are interested in knowing this and they are waking up to what is really going on, not just within their own communities, but within the whole world as a one connect collective. Okay. So as we read more into it, holidays are indicated a time of rest and relaxation. So this is where we can now say to ourselves, I am standing my ground. I am who I, I know I am to be. Okay. When we look within ourselves and we see our true person, which is our true self, okay, our ego, when we look at who we are as a person, whether, you know, let's go to one extreme, you may be a narcissist where you attack people, you're doing your cyber bullying, you're doing acts against other people that are criminal, you may be out there abusing, attacking people, they're now starting to wake up to their own behaviors. Then you've got the other spectrum, the other end of the spectrum, where you've got these really loving and caring people who are doing more generosity in their work. They're going far beyond that duty of care where they're now um, doing more for others because, you know, look at these officers around the world throwing down their badges, their guns and their um, riot shields. You know, they're going beyond what they're being told in their job and they're making their own decisions now, okay? So this is an amazing time that is now coming for the next week. People are realizing who they are. And, you know, for the past two years, we've been compliant. We've done what the government wanted us to do, right? You know, if they said lockdown, we lock down. If they say don't do this, we don't do that, okay? So now people are now taking that charge back. They're taking back their self-worth and they're taking back that self-appreciation of what effort they've put in. And now they're getting out there and they're being this amazing energetic being where they are connecting with others and they're more so being that um, deeper connection where they're now making new friends, they're making new relationships with um, family that they may have all this stuff is now occurring again you know there's some people around the world who haven't seen relatives in two years so now as the borders are opening up they've got this opportunity to see grandchildren that they've never met that have been born in the last two years they're seeing family and friends who they haven't been able to even go and see in their cars because of some boundary or um, road closure or um, border closure etc okay so it's very important that now we are our true self this is what's coming out this week be your true self you know I'll just go there to the two spectrums that I just mentioned if you're narcissistic you will be proven to be a narcissist people will see that behavior people will record it and memory goes to, to the memory bank so your behaviors will be accountable people on the other edge of that spectrum who are gorgeous loving kind and giving they're going to get those rewards for the effort that they're putting in you know there's going to be favors benefits and good things coming to those people okay so which end of the spectrum do you want to be on that's basically what these cards today are showing okay because now we're seeing that stability our true self it's been coming out for about a year now and now that we've identified who we are and what our behaviors our hobbies and our interests are we are now in that stability of doing those behaviors we're in that stability where we will keep going with those routines and those habits and we're going to make people aware of who we really are so true selves will be coming out, okay? Um, it means you can afford a reward for yourself for time off, okay? So this is where a lot of people who have been putting in the hard yards for the last two years, they are going to be rewarded. You know, they can now um, hopefully afford a holiday, even if it's just a drive to the park, um, you know, which or even a walk to the end of your street where you may have a park or some other landscape that you can just go and admire. You know, some people will be 
connecting with their neighbours in high-rise apartments now where you've felt isolated and you didn't want to talk to anyone in case you caught it. But now we're all waking up that you can't just catch it like that. Okay? So the Four of Wands is a very, very good card for today. So let me just put my ruler back into this, just in case I have to go back to it. So the next card that they asked me to do was the Illumination card from Louise Benton. This one is very important too. Let me read it. Our very existence and all that surrounds us is miraculous. So people are becoming aware of that. Okay. There is wonderment and magic in all things. People are now waking up that, you know, for two years I haven't been able to go to work. So they're looking at what interests and what hobbies they have where they could make money that way. Okay. There is wonderment and magic in all things. And this world is so much more than it appears to be. Everyone is now waking up. They're seeing the truth in the lies and the deceit. You know, I was told about the lies and the deceit back in 2001 when I died. You know, she said, she, my great, 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 great grandmother, she said to me, Linda, you will not believe the lies and the deceit that these people in authorities say to you over the, um, she didn't call it media, but she said it will spread and everyone will hear these lies and the deceit, which is media through the internet. And our essence is a spirit that connects us to the vastness of all that is. So look how many people are now spiritually awakening, where they're connecting with people who they thought, oh yeah, they're a little bit spiritual, I might just see what depths they are. And we're all finding out now that these people are a tribe. We've got our families, okay? The eternal witness to all, that's the universe, the eternal witness to all that arises and all that passes away. So there is change still happening. But it's that dwindling away of all the lies and the deceit. You know, we won't just go there with one government body. But how many governments around the world now where the leader, you know, prime ministers, presidents or even chancellors, premiers, etc. They're running fast. They're backflipping now. They are not knowing where they're going next. And they're fumbling fools in front of the cameras. Everybody's doing this. The ones in authority. So it all starting now to pass away, all these lies and the deceit. Love and reverence for our own existence and the existence of all life will awaken us to the blessings of this experience as embodied humans and the opportunity it offers us to hone the skills of manifestation and creation. So we've had two years now where we've been told, can't do this, don't do that, don't go there, do this. We've had two years and now people are saying, you know what? I now know I don't want that. I don't want to do that behavior. You know, why should I not be able to go to my shop and buy essentials? Because you're the government's telling me about this virus, okay? which now we're proving through medical papers that are in the Lancet and other medical journals, peer-reviewed medical reports out from doctors who are saying that this is no worse than just a seasonal FLU. Wow. People are starting to wake up to this stuff. So we're now manifesting and creating the world that we want. Unfortunately, the governments are still barking though, aren't they? The more authenticity Oops, start again. The more authentically and truthfully we choose to live, the more aligned we will become with the universal forces. So reach into that depth of who you are, guys. Ask yourself, who do I want to be? Remember the two spectrums I said? Narcissistic behavior right through to loving kind. Where do you want to be in that spectrum of personality traits? and start walking that talk and talking that walk be that person that you want to be that's what the cards are saying this week this alignment will then enable us to see through the veils of deception oh and i saying all this oh my god that has prevented us from expressing our divine potential my god 
this is awesome for this week okay so have a look and say to yourself what is my divine potential who do I want to be in five years where do I want to be in five years and you can go out now and start making this happen okay by reclaiming our sovereignty yes Canada Belgium Australia just to name three countries of these major protests we are reclaiming our sovereignty who we truly are google the word what is sovereignty it is our true self it is our solistic alignment of this manifestation in this life of who we want to represent what life lessons we want to learn in this existence what life path we want to be on and also we've got to remember the flip side what life lessons do we want to help cure or create within other people so then they learn life lessons from our actions okay how can we teach someone patience unless we personally make them wait that's an easy one okay that example there okay by reclaiming our sovereignty we can embrace the truth oh yes moderna shares of what we are and begin creating a future based on our dreams and desires for a better world the better world is coming guys and how do we create that 10-year goal we start it today by making one step forward okay the last little bit of this card says use these cards to help ignite your divine memory and contemplate the miracle that is you yes i'm crying because this is two years of absolute crud that we've been going through isn't it seriously who doesn't think that the last two years have been crud and it's all now slipping away new things are coming okay use these cards to help ignite your divine memory you know one of the exercises that i use in counseling when people come to me and they say linda i don't know where i'm going i don't know what i'm doing i don't know where i should be working i always say to them go back to when you were a teenager remember a time when you were like 15 to 17 years old sit there and go back to that memory who were you what were your goals back then what hobbies did you have who did you want to be when you grew up go back to that person and ask yourself have you done what you actually wanted to do when you were little you know it may have been when you were eight it may have been when you were five you know i was just reading this story about a five-year-old who wants to be a doctor so she's buying stethoscopes nurses aprons you know what a gorgeous kid she wants to grow up to be a nurse i wonder if she'll ever get there you know so we sit and we contemplate back on who we were when we were younger okay so we we ignite those divine memories so go back to what you wanted to be you know i'll be honest with one of my <laughs> memories when i was 17 i wanted to be a rock star okay up on stage yay every night making people feel great so when i do when i'm alone i go back to that i do my i put on my rock and roll music and i air guitar away because i relive that memory of what i wanted to be even though and i haven't physically created that you know i'm not playing at wembley stadium you know i'm not at the um what's that big super bowl place over in america i'm not playing at those big arenas but i can play here in my own house wearing my pajamas doing it for the pleasure of myself where i create that realistic memory of who i want to be we don't have to go out and spend thousands of dollars and get music contracts and look for people to do what we want 
we can create it here because it's creating that vibration it's cre- pardon me that energy it's creating that alignment with the universe so when we go out and we're feeling this emotion of this euphoria when we are who we really want to be we go out into society and it spreads to other people they feel it then they create it and they spread it to others and then others feel it and then they create it and they spread it to others and this is what's happening in the next week the energies are all now starting to change okay use these cards to help ignite your divine memory and contemplate the miracle of that is you so here's gorgeous gorgeous louise's card if you want to pause the screen and have a read of those words i'll just bring it in a bit closer now we go over to my little lovey dovey card oh my god love tells you how it feels about you so the more we stand in ourselves and we say you know what i've been working hard for two years see how all these cards now go in together i've been working hard for two years i've been compliant i've been doing what you wanted but now i'm going to stand in my truth of illumination and i'm going to be my true self now because it's all crumbling away look at the stock shares for classic example love tells you how it feels about you so what does that mean to me love tells you how it feels about you it's those rewards oh my god didn't we get reward because go on a holiday card right we're getting that reward now for going through all this struggle you know in universal energies we call these brownie points remember that heaven has brownie points like karma karma is now being returned now remember it's only being returned to those who are on the right side of that spectrum remember the bad side of the spectrum and the good side of the spectrum only those are getting the good karma because if you're in this half of that spectrum narcissist bad things are going to come to you if you're in the good side good things are coming okay so this is a time to really wake up and say who am i through that illumination card so now we cannot forget our little ruin stone here he is isn't he a little cutie he's a little cutie one okay i've got him here in my book it's called the yeeha number 12 and it's the harvest card harvest you know they're saying now reap what we sow go on that holiday be your light through that darkness of illumination our rewards are coming love spreads to us and it gives us those rewards so this card is the harvest card oh my god i'll just turn it around so you can actually see that this is the one that i'm talking about there it is harvest card number one oops it's the reaping the results of hard work oh my god reaping the hard yards look they're all connected to god today okay often associated with receiving a reward for effort expended earlier occasionally associated with facility and conception okay so this means that we can go out and create what now what we want okay wow okay so face up and it does oh i like doing the face up one it's a positive sign hello number two signals the reaping of a reward of some kind e.g a bonus a promotion conception of a child or good deed so this is what i've been saying guys we are now going to start reaping the benefits of being true to ourselves okay not everybody is going to be rewarded okay and i'll go there a lot of people are not going to be rewarded 
and that's what I must stipulate today because over the past week I have seen some very very nasty people okay very very nasty people who are in this end of the spectrum and they're going to get their karma they're going to get that wrath of God come down on them <laughs> show mercy show show compassion and understanding okay always be nice to everybody but if you're in this end of the spectrum going up to like ascended master level where we are trying our best to be great genuine loving people there's rewards coming for everybody okay last point typically the reward is the result of significant earlier effort invested in other words the reward is well deserved now i'm just going to say that people that are nasty at this point because there are some nasty ones out there we all see it right i get emails every day where people saying oh my god i can't believe how nasty my brother's turned in the past year okay i get all that every day so what did this just say the reward is well deserved so we get what is coming for what we've put out that's if there's a warning for today's cards that's what it's showing there is a there is going to be karma coming to a lot of people look what's just happened to moderna karma look what's just happened to pfizer karma look what's now happened to gil bates karma then we look at some other people of gorgeous gorgeous people you know i was reading this story the other day about an olympian he lost a leg he was he was a olympian he lost his leg and now he's in the special olympics and he's out there raising millions of dollars for charities supporting people that have um so people with amputees etc you know immobility they can go out and still do things in their um societies karma you know he's making millions karma is coming to everybody this week okay so please know guys this week stay true to yourself really assess what you're doing if you do think that you've done something bad over the last couple of years months weeks days now's the time to say sorry now's the time to forgive yourself because ultimately everything we do is our own perception and the only way to change our perception is to illuminate and to find that peace within ourselves so then we can heal things within our life that we don't agree with or behaviors routines habits that we've formed because greatness is coming to those who deserve it and that's what these cards are all showing me today you know they're all showing me today that really good things are coming this next week oh, this is the time to reward yourselves guys be proud of who you are be proud of what you've created look back over the two years where you've been stood on where you've been manipulated where you've been fooled conned and you've been had be humbled and say you know what I now realize I was fooled you may start crying when you realize that um, the effects of what you've been put through but it's all coming out now and this is how we heal heal say sorry ask yourself to forgive yourself and just say to yourself what else could have I done with the limited information I had did I have other options at that time did I have any other opportunity that I could have taken to avoid what ultimately occurred and if you can say no honestly to those questions you can then say then this is out of my hands I had no control it wasn't my doing it was them that did that and that's how we heal 
because we see it from their perspective and we say you know what I do not have to have that guilt or that blame of what others have done to me I do not allow that guilt and shame to bear into my soul and to make me feel for the actions of others that's how we heal that's how we forgive because then you can sit there and say I'm now here in February 2022 what am I going to do now that is better for me these cards show today that greatness for the next week is coming we are about to get our just desserts there's no other better way than ending today just desserts are coming this week stay tuned watch your news and if you do find a story where somebody got their just dessert whether it be bad or good let me know email me because my links below and say Linda this person just won two million dollars and they were struggling something like that because it's not always bad right because I always look for the good in everybody so I hope that this week you guys all see that goodness within yourselves and you start rewarding yourself be proud of who you are and go out into your lives and say you know what I am the best version of me we could never wish for anything better for anybody correct so go out open your front door and stand there going ah I am the best version of me and then say thank you thank you for allowing me to see the greatness I am thank you for allowing me to get through this hardship of the past two years where I've now woken up and I know now what my future is going to be like see us all next week guys hope you have a great week bye To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.